Hello and one on all, and yes, I'm filming on my phone again because welcome back to another monthly Blu ray haul. Yes, this is the uh, Blu ray haul for the month November of 2020. Yes, guys, I cannot believe we're almost at the end of 2020. Next month is December, one goddamn month. Also known as one goddamn percent, known as Jake Vader's, if you follow him on Rotten Refresh with Rhino Tool. But, anyways, um, I have another Blu ray haul to show you guys, um, and uh, I look forward to showing them off. Um, again, I got the usual number, which is six, five or six is like the usual number I get anyway. Um, so, um, Two of them are uh, H&V Premium pickups, which I'll show at the very end. Um, and I got six movies. Uh, one of them's a box set, which I'll show you. It's a two-movie box set. And um, But yeah, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, um, first one I got. I'll show off the box set first, actually. Um, um, first one up is a, a cop series. Uh, cop comedy series um when i look for action movies i also like to look for um uh some comedy cop in there you know we have movies like you know um beverly's hills cops and uh hot fuzz well these are other ones uh 21 and 22 jump street <clears throat> now i'm not gonna lie i've not seen the second one yet but i have um seen the first one on i was on netflix Remember, really enjoy it. it. Was very um, hilarious and funny. Um, yes, I mean uh, Jonah Hill and uh, Channing uh, Tatum. If I've pronounced his name right, hopefully I did. Um, they're a great duo um, in this film. And uh, uh, comedy sequels are barely good, and this is supposed to be one of the great ones. This I have not seen, unfortunately, because it wasn't on Netflix then. But I'm happy to have uh, both these movies. I've seen this already. Um, but but I look forward to watching the second one sometime. And yeah, that's 21 Jump Street and 22 Jump Street. Um, I got this from CX in for £2. Not bad price. Um, Black Friday we'll talk about in a moment uh, when I, at the end of the video. Uh, next two movies up, um, these are Liam Neeson, uh, action thrillers, actually. Yes, I've been getting into Liam Neeson, actually, since he's from Northern Ireland, where I live in. I'm not from Northern Ireland, but I live in Northern Ireland. But I've gotten into some of his action thrillers. Um, uh, one of these I've seen, the other one I've not seen just yet. But the first one I'm going to show off is uh, Nonstop, yes. Uh, this and the other pickup I got in Poundland for £4. Blu-rays in Poundland are £2 each. So if you like get them too, you get £4 and so on and so forth. But um, uh, Liam Neeson's action thrillers are kind of like uh, some other thrillers. Like um, like The Fugitive and uh, Air Force One. Those movies with Harrison Ford. Uh, this one here is kind of like Air Force One because um, this film is basically based on a airplane but i've seen this on netflix and um this this is actually a fun one uh this is e it's either this or taken as the best Liam neeson action thriller in my opinion you know i've also seen unknown not too big fan of that one that's kind of like uh the born identity a little bit but it was a fun uh movie overall just not that great in my opinion but this and Taken to me are the best ones. And I've also seen um, Run All Night, which is also quite good. I actually saw it back in the cinema, actually, when it came out. So, hey, maybe I should get that in my collection sometime. Uh, the, other one, the other one I got um, is uh, The Commuter, which I've not seen. Um, but this is supposed to be like um, the fugitive because there's a, tr cause, um, there's a train there. And then The Fugitive, which is a really good thriller, guys. If you've not seen it, give it a watch sometime. I highly recommend it. It's really good. One of my favorite thrillers. 
action thrillers um, where you know Harrison Ford's character is in Chicago and the train and all. Um, but this I haven't seen. Um, I mean, this is supposed to be another fun one. Uh, I mean, Liam Neeson's uh, thrillers are supposed to be quite fun. But, um, yeah. And fun fact, um, I'm known non-stop uh, run all night. Uh, the Commuter are all directed by the same director. I cannot um, pronounce his name right. Unfortunately, I'm not going to butcher it. Um, who also um, directed the shark film from 2016, The Shallows. Also actually pretty good. I recommend that as well. But hey, that's uh, non-stop. And uh, The Commuter. Definitely need to watch this sometime. This I have seen though. Alright, my uh, final two pickups, which are both H&V Premium Collections. Yes, H&V uh, Premium Collections are like the biggest um, Blu-ray collection in the UK as far as I know. Because H&V is the biggest um, UK movie rental store. Yes, it also has music as well. But, um, but the two Premium Collection pickups I got were... The 1980s comedy classic Aeroplane and Gremlins 2. So, yes, I've got uh, the first Gremlins on normal standard Blu-ray already. But um, this I just had to add to the collection. This I haven't seen, actually. Um, but I'm definitely going to watch this sometime because um, I think the first um, Gremlins takes place in Christmas. I cannot remember because it's been a while since I've watched the first uh, Grandin's movie, but but uh, these are really good because you know you get because um, with some of these you get uh, a Blu-ray disc, also a DVD, which is really cool. And then these uh, cards here, I need mean, I've not opened these up yet. I need to open them up sometime. But um, but hey, maybe sometime I will. Um, I'm going to try and open this now, actually, because I'm still um, recording, so. Yeah, binding stuff can be a pain, but but at times it can be the only way to open things up properly, you know. Um, I'm going to see if I get in the moment, because I'm actually somewhat getting there, so I can show off the cards off, because in... Uh, premium uh, H&V collections you do tend to um, get some cards so I'm just gonna show them off anyway once I've um, got them opened okay there we go <clears throat> I'll deal with that in a minute uh, so yeah, this is the normal um, cover on just like this. Oh, that's a nice one. Very nice. Let's put them over, actually. There we go. There's another one. Oh, does this also take place in Christmas? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe the first one just does, but hey. But yeah, those are really nice um, cars right there. Warner Bros. All right. Yes, I've still yet to watch um Grandums to uh the new batch. Oh, that's what it's called. Nice. So yeah, that's Grandums two. And then um, uh, this is a very new one because this has one of the new um rage aidings. This is a fifteen. Um. What's really cool about this one is that, unfortunately, there's no DVD um, disc, but uh, my other premiums, uh, Munich and uh, Casablanca, did have DVD discs, if I'm correct, because Casablanca is like the biggest one in the collection, as far as I know. Um, you get some artwork behind there, if I take the disc out. There you go. Uh, this we'll look at in a minute. Um, then you get these cards here. Sorry about the lighting. I'm trying to keep the lighting on my laptop because so 
uh, the quality can see me uh, properly. But anyways, there you go. Oh yeah, then there's the Saturday Night Fee, the dance with Ah Ha ah, Stayin' Alive. You know, the iconic BG song. Anyways, there you go. Then there's another piece of the artwork. There we go. And also, I've gotten a free um, airplane poster. So that's very nice. There you guys go. Very nice. And that is the 80s classic airplane. I have watched this very recently for the first time. Really good. And there you go, guys. That was my uh, Blu-ray haul for November 2020. Yes. I'm very curious to see what I get in December, especially with Christmas coming up. Unfortunately, guys, I was not... These pickups were not Black Friday. Unfortunately, I could not get a Black Friday because in the UK we've hit another lockdown, unfortunately. But it's due to end soon anyway. Um... Um, elements of it are still kind of restriction rules anyway, but, um, but anyways, I don't want to go into much detail, because if you do live in the UK, you'll probably know anyway, but, but anyways, that's my Blu-ray haul, comment down below, let me know, guys, what Blu-rays did you pick up this month, and let me know below, and let's have a great discussion in the comments below, and if you're new to my channel, I'm a movie reviewer from the UK that likes to do movie reviews and classics, especially when a new movie comes out. And I also like to do Blu-ray hauls for a monthly. Um, as always, guys, you can comment, like, subscribe, notify the bell before you leave and share this video. All my social media links will be in the description below. And as always, guys, until my next video, I shall see you then and peace.